you guys so a while back on black friday i had mentioned that i purchased this loaded brush case from wildflowers and that i was gonna do like an unboxing or just go through it and i realized that i haven't done that yet i haven't even had a chance to open the box i've been so busy so i figured i would take the time to go through this box and just to show you the actual brushes open them up and uh just give you a few details on them so what you'll notice right away is that they give you a laminated card that has a picture of the brushes and a description of what you would use them for, which I think is super helpful for people who are new to art or even if you are experienced in art, I think it's just helpful to have a reminder of what these brushes could be used for. So as we begin to open up the case, you'll see the first compartment is empty. Um, I believe on their website they said that's where you can store like your silicone tools as well as other brushes. And on this other side, you see me counting, there are 10 slots on the other side, so I was trying to hold up my fingers to show you. But as we open up the middle part of the brush case, this is where you'll find the actual brushes. And what I thought was cool is that... The color chart that they provide to you actually matches the brushes. So if you see, I'm trying to match up the pink uh, brushes and the other ones, the colors <laughs> with it. Um, so they, they're they pretty true to color. Even um, what I saw on my computer screen when I ordered, I found them to be very similar. Granted, I don't know the resolution you're viewing this in, but um, for my resolution, it was pretty accurate and spot on. So what you'll see me do right here is compare the brush size to something like, this is the Ugly Duckling Premium Striper Brush. Um, if you look at it in comparison, the Wildflowers brush is way thinner. I almost feel like it's almost half of uh, the Ugly Duckling brush and it's super lightweight. So this orange brush right here is a one stroke brush. I have not tried one stroke painting, so I'm super excited to get into that. This next one I believe is the Magenta Fine Detail Brush. I'm looking forward to using this for my hand painting like portraits that I like to do. I think this would be perfect for that kind of work. Next up is the Mint Brush. They said that this is good for creating texture. So as we move along, we're gonna go to the silver brush. This is good for 3D nail art, which I'm excited to get back into. When I first started out with acrylics, I was practicing with 3D nail art, but I kind of stopped, but I'm looking forward to getting back into it. And I think this would be a perfect size brush for that. It's super small. This black brush is a number zero brush. They said that it is perfect for detail as well as creating petals. It is very tiny and fine. So this right here, I believe, is the teal brush, and it is also good for one-stroke painting. Next up, we have the gold brush, which is listed as a skinny striper brush. So right here, I'm just trying to compare the Ugly Duckling Striper brush, but it's kind of hard to tell because I need to reshape the Ugly Duckling brush, but they kind of seemed pretty similar to me just by looking at it. So this lime brush that I'm pulling up next is good for blending to create like shadow effects. It is also good for highlighting. So 
So this next brush is an angled one stroke brush, which is good for making leaves and flowers. And if you are curious, you can purchase each of these brushes on their website. I think they retail for a little around $14 each. However, if you are planning to purchase the whole case, it is $149. The next brush is good for watercolor techniques and using it with water-based paints, but the website does indicate that you can use it for gel art as well. If you're curious why I purchased this, it's because the, um, when I first got into nail art, I didn't take very good care of my brushes, and now that I've learned to take care of them, I wanted to kind of splurge and buy something nice and I feel like because of the price point I'll probably be even more inclined to take care of these. This next one is also an angled one stroke brush and it's going to be perfect for creating leaves. So for this last one this is the long skinny striper brush. This will be perfect for line art. So just looking at the last compartment of the case, this is where you can store your stamping plates at. I am planning to get more into stamping. Um, I did purchase their stamping gel from the website and I have tested it out a little bit so far and I do love it and I do plan to put a video up soon. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up the unboxing of this kit. Let me know if you've ordered from Wildflowers before. I will say they have awesome customer service. Also, I noticed that they started this thing called Deal of the Week, so you may want to sign up for their email list so you can be a part of finding out what deals they're giving out for the week. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. You can find me at Dipped and Pretty.